Hey guys, what's up? It's technically my first vlog of 2016. I mean, well, I had like the few minutes during my like New Year's vlog that I was in 2016, but this is like my first official one, and I'm here to do it with my buddies Nick and Joe, as you know them, Epic Nick 100 and 101 Lego Review. 101 Lego Review is 101. There they are. Hello. Yeah. Hey. They don't have their webcams on, so their profile pictures are cool enough. I guess we still haven't thrown that out and or taken that stuff down or like pretty much half the Christmas stuff that we put up. So there's that. But it's been like two, two and a half weeks. I'm guessing I don't keep track of when I do vlogs anymore, honestly. It's just like I think I've about given up on keeping vlogs consistent. It just doesn't happen for some reason. Anyway, so... We're just gonna start off, I'm just gonna start off by just showing you guys what I'm working on right now. And that is pretty much, almost 100% at the moment, Deadpool. And uh, Deadpool himself is uh, actually come along really well. Since the last time I vlogged, I pretty much made about 70% of the figure. I mean, there's only some detail on the sides of his legs, the backs of his legs, and uh, also the back of his torso. And then the figure is done. I mean, there really isn't a lot left for me to do. I'm working on this figure a lot. As a matter of fact, I did actually put up the first uh, teaser photo of my Deadpool minifigure about a week ago now. So, yeah, that was a thing that you could have caught on my Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram if you follow any of those. And then also, uh, Colossus. Um, not nearly as much progress on Colossus. Um, so I've been working on him quite a bit, and he's definitely quite a challenge. Um, and you know, I, I am trying, I'm, you'll see what I'm doing with Colossus pretty soon. I'm going to be posting the first preview not too long from now. I'm hoping within the next week, because I think within the next week, I'll get him to a point where I'll be able to put him in a preview photo. You see, Deadpool was at that point. I had enough progress on him where I could make a photo. Colossus is not. So still working on him. Uh, the movie comes out on like, what, the 11th? So uh, the showcase will be out on the 10th. And that is the goal that I'm sticking to. So yeah. Um, Anyway, one other thing I want to mention before we start talking about DC stuff. I did finish the uh, Halo 5 Guardians. I did finish painting the Halo 5 Guardians collaborative minifigures. And uh, yeah, so if you guys are, if you guys don't remember, uh, my buddy Josiah Bricks Alive sculpted the incredible Arbiter armor. And then, uh, you know, Brick Affliction Andrew, he made the incredible Master Chief armor from a couple of years ago. And then Spartan Locke was sculpted by uh, Sonder from Flickr as well. And uh, they're all uh, really awesome guys. And by the way, Bill Bob Full actually sculpted the shoulders on Spartan Locke too. So it's a big collaborative effort effort that is finally finished basically two years in the making and you can read all about it on my Flickr I typed up the whole thing if you want to check that out and the showcase will be up hopefully within the next week this is all stuff that I'm working on and uh, I'm going to do the Civil War sets analysis video and then the Halo 5 Guardian showcase and that is the current plan just to update you guys on what's going on and so yeah but guys DC the entire DCEU presentation that was on the CW on Tuesday night right after the flash that was insane. Nick, Joe, thoughts? It was way more than we could handle. Yeah, we were pretty freaking out. Uh, like, we were just freaking out, and uh, I'm pretty sure we all love Bohemian Rhapsody ten times more. Mm -hmm. yeah. At every commercial break, we were trying to catch our breaths. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were pretty much, we, yeah, we were all, like, hyperventilating. Yeah. So... Uh, what happened on during the DC pr presentation, they had uh, a ton of, uh, not a ton, but a decent amount, a bunch of new shots from Batman vs. Superman, more so just extensions of what we've already seen, which is totally cool. It was definitely really cool to see kind of like what, like the, the next few frames of what we've already seen or, the, or like the previous few frames, like right before it. So yeah, it was definitely not a lot for Batman vs. Superman, but still there was a decent amount and it was really cool, especially like that shot of the Batmobile and the shot of Superman just like casually walking through the Capitol. That was so awesome and just like so, yeah. Uh, you know, alien being just casually walking through the Capitol. That was uh, really cool. And then also that shot of Ben Affleck with the, in, his, in the bat suit with the grapple gun. Oh my God, the dude is Batman. That was honestly, I feel like that was the best part of the Batman versus Superman presentation was just that shot of him in the grapple gun alone. And uh, yeah, I don't actually have that pulled up at the moment, but 
Anyway, another thing, we had the entire, like, they had a bunch of Justice League concept art that they uh, shoved in our faces, like, unexpectedly, and we were all freaking out. Uh, we had some concept art of the suit that they're going to be putting on Ezra Miller, and uh, I don't they, the concept art must have been done, like, so early on, because there was no likeness, really, to Ezra Miller at all in the Flash concept art, but uh, it actually almost looked like the uh, Flash concept art was, uh, like, the face of it, anyway, was pasted over from the DC Online Flash, um, and so, yeah, I'm pretty sure, isn't that what that game was? called joe nick yeah yeah dc universe online dc, yeah, DC universe thing. online yeah from one of those old cinematics but um yeah so that was really awesome we got our first look at it as ray fisher as cyborg and it was actually the first time i ever heard ray fisher's voice because they had like little mini interviews that they had going as well and um yeah the dude sounds like cyborg the dude looks like cyborg it's definitely pretty exciting so yeah there's that and then also we have uh, the, the uh, like the first uh, set of uh, Wonder Woman footage, and pretty much what they showed us was just a lot of uh, footage that they that they recorded. You know, there's no CGI yet. Obviously, they're way too early on. They like just started filming like a, like a month or two ago. Um, so I mean, it was it was really cool what we saw. It uh, you know it wasn't um, it wasn't a lot because it's all really really early stuff. And uh, honestly, I feel like a good few of those shots may not even be in the movie because it's so far off and so many things could change. Um, so I mean, yeah, there really isn't much to say about the Wonder Woman footage all taking place in World War One. it looked like which is really cool I'm really hoping that the whole movie doesn't take place in World War One and that we at least get some stuff going on in modern time but yeah um so there's that and then also we did get our first or I guess second like first official um Suicide Squad trailer but then like the, the first teaser was just like what quote unquote a first look after it leaked and then Warner Brothers just threw it up after Comic-Con. So this is the first official trailer for Suicide Squad. And it showed a lot. I mean, we weren't screaming because we have, you know, it wasn't like the first reveal footage. But it was still really exciting to see all of the new shots. I mean, I didn't really write down any notes as to, like, stuff that really stood out. But, I mean, all the new footage of uh, Jared Leto as the Joker just sells me more and more on him uh, portraying the Joker. I think it's going to be amazing. Gee. And, uh, yeah, uh, the, the enemies that they're fighting in Suicide Squad, that they look interesting. I don't know what they are. No one knows what they are, but they're horrifying. One of them had a shotgun. And, uh, yeah, they, um, they changed Killer Croc, his eyes and, like, overall facial structure, honestly, looks a little bit different. Like, they CGI, they used a lot of CGI on him, it seems. And then we had, uh, like, a lot of really cool stuff in the trailer. I'm trying to think of it all. I love the new color, uh, font that they're using for, uh, it's not a new font, but, like, just the color and the tints that they have on the, uh, on, like, the text for the trailer and then the logo itself. Really, really awesome. So, yeah, I... Yeah, Enchantress has, like, a new CGI effect on her as well, which is really cool. That looks awesome. Um, and then, you know, there's a lot... God, I mean, I'm trying to think of, like, everything that we can just touch on. Katana's sword uh, and all the souls that you can see, like, emanating off of it. That was a really cool effect. Um, I mean, God, what is... I mean, I, I feel like I'm just going to pull up the, the, the Suicide Squad trailer really quick and just kind of skim through it. Guys, do you think... Can you remember anything that I'm not mentioning? It was uh, a good balance of characters. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the one overshadowed another. Yeah, that was definitely something to note on because, you, you, like the the first trailer, you could argue that a lot of the emphasis was on was on Deadshot and Harley Quinn, but this trailer, everyone had just about the same amount of screen time. And I feel like, I feel like Harley Quinn had a little had like probably the most. Yeah. In my opinion. Um, but can we can we talk about this this <laughs> shot of the Joker? That looks incredible, and honestly, like, what could possibly be the very, like, the, the best shot of any live-action Joker? That that just looks perfect. I mean, I, it's really exciting. I know, I mean... Are you showing? I, I was showing the shot of uh, of the Joker, like, you know, surrounded by all the knives and daggers. Oh, yeah, yeah it, it's really awesome. And all the, you know, the new shots of, like, the potential Harley Quinn origin that they're going to be showing, that's really exciting. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's just Suicide Squad is going to be incredible. This trailer definitely stirs up a lot of questions, um, especially in regards to why Rick Flagg is just casually talking to Enchantress. And he's like, oh, yeah, you're possessed by a witch. So that, that was a little tidbit that I found definitely interesting because it's like he just sounds totally chill with that. Um, so, yeah, there's just so much. The, the, the Joker appears to be in, like, a giant mech suit in a subway. So that's something, and that's new. Maybe that's not him, but it really did look like him. Um, and Captain Boomerang definitely had quite a presence in the trailer, too. Um, everyone's really excited about him. And honestly, a lot of people said that Captain Boomerang was the best part of the trailer. 
I can't agree. I feel like the Joker was, but uh, yeah, holy crap. It still looks incredible. And as I've said before, as we've all said in previous vlogs, Suicide Squad is coming out literally right during Brick Fair this year. And we are all going to see it together probably like two or three times. And it's going to be awesome. So this is definitely going to be like, this is this movie is going to make for the best Brick Fair premiere ever. So that, and then yeah, also... Yeah, basically the Guardians of the Galaxy this year. Yeah, because uh, look, we had Guardians of the Galaxy in 2014, and then in 2015, uh, you know, this year, or last year, <laughs> we had uh, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. So, yeah, Suicide Squad, I think, is going to be the best, though, hands down. And then uh, uh, me and Nick are actually going out to Joe Land in Kansas City, Missouri, to see Dawn of Justice with him. So it's going to be the three of us, and we're basically making, like, a freaking, like, meetup party out of Dawn of Justice, and it's going to be pretty sweet. So, yeah, that's something I probably haven't mentioned before, but that's something we're doing. So basically, I need to make sure I have my Dawn of Justice figures finished and showcased like a week in advance so <laughs> definitely a little bit more pressure on me but i'll get it done speaking of dawn of justice i do have the head or at least most of it anyway done on batman as you guys have probably seen before still have a little bit more painting to do on the cow gonna be adding some extra lines and then i did get the big fig in for uh doomsday that i'll be working off of did a lot of sanding on this um just to make sure it'll be ready to go for when the time comes and uh yeah so uh then one other thing I did want to point out uh, the Legends of Tomorrow minifigures. This is something I do want to talk about because Legends of Tomorrow just premiered tonight. And uh, by the way, the premiere really felt like just a quick like explainer episode. Like they were just like there wasn't a lot of action in this first in this first episode, but that's okay because you know it's an introduction. It's going to get a lot better. And uh, I just cannot believe that it was already announced eight months ago because when they you know they they flashed 2016 at the end of the Comic Con teaser for Legends of Tomorrow, it seems so far away. And we're already here. It was already tonight, and it was pretty sweet. And I'm looking forward to the rest of it. Um, but you guys might remember this guy, the Adam. What? ever happened to it i've talked about it briefly here and there in you know different vlogs over the past year but i started on the atom way back in february of 2015 and then arrow season three ended and no one cared and neither did i i, I had like avengers age of ultron figures and a lot of other stuff i was working on at the time that i kind of considered to be more important and so then legends of tomorrow was announced and i was like dude why should I finish him now if he's going to be a lead character on a huge show and I can make him a part of something bigger? So I figured, okay, I'm going to put him in my in my Brick Fair case for a few months and uh, basically freeze him in carbonite and uh, not touch him until January. And, uh, well, now it's January. So now once I get enough progress done, I think once I'm done on Deadpool, once I'm done with Deadpool and once I'm done with Colossus, you will probably see uh, me make more progress in the Legends of Tomorrow figures. I do kind of have like a blank slate here for Rip Hunter. There really isn't a lot on him at all. It's just literally a blank torso, blank head, blank legs, blank coat. Um, there's like nothing going on with uh, Rip Hunter yet. Um, but I do think what I'm going to be doing for the Legends of Tomorrow minifigures is I will be breaking it up. Um, so you're going to have basically like, like it's, I'm treating my Legends of Tomorrow minifigures as this year's side figures. So pretty much what I'm saying is while I work on all these, you know, big showcases that I'm really excited for, that I'm really, you know, that I'm working hard on, you know, for Dawn of Justice, Deadpool, Captain America, Civil War, X-Men Apocalypse, all that stuff. I will be working on Legends of Tomorrow figures off to the side until I make the entire team because I do want to do that. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is the first showcase is going to be the Atom, Rip Hunter, and White Canary. Those are the side figures I'll be working on while I have extra time. And uh, so, I mean, the more I can work on those figures, you know, just over time as I'm working on these bigger things, you'll see a Legends of Tomorrow showcase pop up here and there. Um, you know, you know, so I, we'll see how it goes. I still don't know if that'll work out. I just, that's my plan at the moment that I'm trying to stick to. And uh, yeah, um, I think aside from that, there isn't really much I uh, think that there is to touch on. I think that that was pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about in this first vlog of uh, 2016, this first full official vlog of 2016. So yeah, um, one other thing I do want to talk about before I close out though, uh, the reviews. As you guys have probably kept up, you know, th these past couple weeks on my channel, I've, I've been cranking out reviews here and there, and uh, I had like a straight run of just four 
reviews just just like i i think it was like four days i you know it was like two, like one day i was working on the first review on like january 3rd and then like uh, i had the next one up on like the fifth and then i had the one after that up on the seventh and i basically just kept it going um for like every two days four reviews and then i waited like a few days after that then posted the next one which was actually the last video i just posted on um, the uh, venjet review so basically what i'm saying is i'm going to keep them going and they will be still going up i'm probably going to review another two to three sets before i cut it off there and then the battlefront sets of course i'm going to review those when they when those hit the states and actually become relevant here because um, i know you europeans have already been enjoying them for like the past month or so um or not the past month but at least past couple weeks so yeah i have no sense of time joe nick say something I don't know. Something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Star Wars got delayed. Episode oh, eight. yeah. That's yeah. something that happened. That was not in my vlog notes. Um, so... Pirates of the Caribbean 5 got pushed back or actually forward. Now that's going to be coming out even sooner, and that's really exciting for next year. But then the bigger news came out that Star Wars Episode 8 is actually not going to be coming out in May of 2017, and instead it'll be coming out in December. And honestly, I say thank God for two reasons. One gives them more time to work on the film. And clearly December worked really well for The Force Awakens. And so making this movie come out like just two days sooner than like, you know, what would have been two years, uh, a full two years, I think that's really good because it's coming out on, now it's slated for December 15th of uh, 2017 and that's honestly really good because it obviously like i said worked really well for the force awakens and also what's really exciting about that is uh well that means i don't exactly have to be uh you know uh, uh, god I, I i don't even know the slate for 2017 joe do you know what was coming out in may or like around that time do you guys know it by heart been, uh guardians of the galaxy and then star wars yeah, so that gives me in 2017, I mean, if I can stick to this and keep making all the figures I want to make for these next couple of years. Uh, so, in, in you know, next year, I would have been working on the Guardians of the Galaxy figures and the Force of Wagons figures at the same time, because I'm pretty sure, what, it was coming out like the same week, Joe, originally? For like I, the uh, same, same month? month? The same month, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I think it's a really good thing that the Force of Wagons was delayed. More money for Disney, a better film for us, and more time for me to work on figures. So, uh, also, also Spider-Man got pushed up a couple of weeks in 2017. I don't know why. Yeah, it's like July 7th now. Yeah. Yeah. So, Big one. Yeah, yeah not a, really, that wasn't exactly, the, everyone was more so talking about Star Wars, not the <laughs> yeah, no couple really weeks. Yeah, Spider-Man. Yeah, not yet anyway, because we haven't seen them, but... Yeah, guys, um, so I'm going to get back to work on Colossus and get the Deadpool figures done so I can finally fully get started on Dawn of Justice and just go full steam ahead on all this stuff. And uh, as I said in these past couple of vlogs, you know, I hope you guys stick around with me for the entire ride of 2016. It's going to be pretty awesome. So anyway, I'm going to end it there. Probably forgetting a lot of stuff that I wanted to mention in this vlog, but that's okay. I will mention it in the next vlog. And uh, Nick, Joe, and say bye. Bye. That was terrible. Do it again. Bye. Bye. You guys are terrible. Okay. Bye.